Meanwhile, Roanoke City leaders are also looking for ways to cut back on spending to make up for a $4 million budget shortfall. In the Star City, the 2017-2018 budget was presented during today's City Council meeting. WSOS 10's Irisha Jones joins us now. She's live outside the Municipal Building tonight. So, Arisha, did City Council vote on a, a set budget this afternoon? Well, no, not yet, John. Today was the council's first look at the proposed budget. Now, it was presented by the city's budget director on ways to reduce spending by $4 million. That includes reducing positions in the public safety area, such as one firefighter and EMT, two sworn positions, and two crime analysts in the police department, and two deputy positions in the sheriff's department. But it was also recommended spending close to $220,000 on the arts endowment, which is a one-time funding for the year, but not all city leaders are agreeing on the money spent and saved in those areas. We have flexibility, if you will, in order to unfund positions that in the course of the average year probably will not be filled the entire time anyway, based on people leaving, retiring, and when the academy class comes on. Since there's not a policy or some or formula or anything that we're going I just would need to understand because we, all of us have expressed we're all going to be questioned so I just need to know do we have any alternatives to that particular amount of money 2020. In December, the city implemented a hiring freeze and proposed delaying building maintenance and holding back on equipment purchases to reduce spending. Now, there will be a public hearing on the proposed budget on April 27th. At that time, people can put their input on the budget. Live in Roanoke, Arisha Jones, WSLS 10.